Yes, the Sabbath is a shadow, and yes, it's fulfilled in Christ eternally, but its fulfillment spiritually does not actually negate its physical or natural practice. And I want to remind you that in Genesis 2, God declared it holy while the earth was perfect without sin. In a perfect world, God established a few things. Marriage, procreation, diet, and he established work and rest. We're practicing all the other things still. If you're going to be consistent, if you're not going to keep the seventh-day Sabbath, you also got to stop working six days a week. We're the bride of Christ married to Jesus, right? That's the spiritual reality. That's what marriage is truly about. Okay, great. Don't get married anymore and don't have any children. You go, well, Jesus is the bread of life that came down. He's the true manna of heaven that reigned down. That's the spiritual reality. That's what bread really represents. I bet you still eat. You're still doing the natural, even though the spiritual is the more true reality. These are shadows. The fulfillment's in Christ. That doesn't abolish the shadow. Yes, there's the physical seven-day Sabbath. Yes, there's the spiritual eternal Sabbath. You are still to rest in the physical Sabbath.